One of my favorite sayings of Jesus that is grossly misunderstood is the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And first of all, sin isn't really a word in the Bible. When you go back to the original language, it talks about missing the mark. And when you get to the root of that, it's about missing the mark of what your soul came here for. So the gift of God to you is the soul that he has given you that is wired for love and wired for life. And that drive, that consciousness, that isness, that beingness of God is in you. And that is the gift to understand how to have a full life, to live the fullness of what your soul came here for. And when we miss that mark, when we choose to ignore our intuition, that inner tutor, our conscience, when we ignore our emotions, the warning signs around us, what we bring upon ourselves is death. It's the death of the expression of our soul. It's the death of the expression of our energy. And this is why he would also say things like, you must be born again. And the religious folks of his time didn't get it because they were so disconnected from God, so disconnected from God being in them. And they said, what do you mean we must be born again? Am I supposed to go into my mother's womb and come out again? And Jesus was like, no, you must be born of the spirit, right? The water and the blood, the blood representing this physical body and the water representing our spirit, our emotional body. So to be born again is to allow the emotions, our energy and motion to speak to us, to be that guiding force that is showing us our way, our truth, our life, right? This is why Jesus could say, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. The Father being the consciousness, the God consciousness, right? So you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life, and you get to the God consciousness by going inside and becoming aware, becoming conscious of all that is you, all that has made you, all that your soul is calling you into, and walking in that, birthing that, birthing the pureness of your soul. So being born again isn't somebody else coming out and save you. Jesus isn't coming on his horse and saying, I got you, man. He already came and said, this is the way to do it. Let me show you how to do it. So if you are desiring to be born again, to birth the fullness of your soul, reach out to me because this is what I do. Look, y'all, it is easy, easy to understand what your soul came here for, the challenge, the strength building is in actually slowing down long enough to listen to what it is and actually walk in it. It is so easy to give our power away, to be moved by every wave of doctrine and opinion that comes along. And this is exactly what Jesus warned us again. Don't be moved by every wave of doctrine that comes around. The pillar of truth is within us. The ability to see truth is within. The connection to source is within. And it cannot be any other way because we came from the source. We are made up of the source. <laughs> and when we get into things like epigenetics and microchimerism, where we understand that the DNA of the baby stays in the mother forever, that means we are forever connected to the divine as above, so below. So you are connected to the divine. You are the divine. And you are here to fulfill a unique purpose in reflecting a certain aspect of the divine. And this is what sacred body mind language is. So if you are ready to be born again, please reach out to me. I love you.